You may not know this, but International Men's Day was pioneered in Trinidad and Tobago. It is celebrated annually on November 19th. We had the opportunity to interview one of the founders of International Men's Day, Dr. Jerome Tilok Singh, about the inspiration behind it. This day appreciates men and acknowledges the struggles they face in society. Reporter Ariana Scipio shares the details. Dr. Jerome T. Loxing, a history lecturer at the University of the West Indies, is one of the pioneers of International Men's Day and one of the reasons it gained international recognition. Celebrated for the last 24 years, he stated that he conceptualized International Men's Day in 1999 and shared the reasons behind this day. On the 19th of November 1989, Trinidad Tobago lost a football game 1-0 to the United States. And it generated a lot of unity, patriotism, nationalism. It brought us together. Due to this, many political, geographical, ethnic, and cultural barriers were crossed. Dr. T. Luxin felt that the men's movement was divided and needed unity through International Men's Day. Recalling a time in the nation's history when football united the country, he wants that phenomenon to embody the recognition of November 19th as International Men's Day. And then secondly, that day, 19 November, is my dad's birthday, who I see as a role model, and I felt other young boys should see their dad or a male figure, nephew, uncle, grandfather, stepfather. So those are the two reasons, you know, that I chose the date. He expressed that he would like men across the world to feel appreciated, acknowledged and loved, as society often views men solely as providers. You know, sometimes they come home and they don't feel appreciated. They just see as um, bringing home the money, you know, as being that economic provider. This day also recognizes men with disabilities and mental illnesses. When asked about his feelings regarding the United Nations' lack of recognition of International Men's Day, choosing instead to recognize it as World Toilet Day, Dr. T. Luxin expressed his disappointment. I believe that it shows how unfair the United Nations is, and it also shows how superficial and cosmetic um, the United Nations is when it comes to dealing with uh, serious issues affecting men. He went on to say that it was discouraging and disrespectful. Before the recognition of World Toilet Day, Dr. T. Luxin wrote to the UN about International Men's Day. However, they did not take him seriously. Addressing men from Trinidad and Tobago and around the world, he wants them to know that they are appreciated. He acknowledged those who have lost their jobs due to the pandemic, leading to mental and financial issues. Additionally, Dr. T. Luxing wants them to know that there are other men willing to assist them to ensure that suicide, depression, and health issues decrease among men, allowing them to lead long lives with their loved ones. Ariana Scipio, Tobago Updates Television News.